Without his guidance, our homeland is falling apart. North wages war against South. The Holy Flame flickers and dies. <laughs> Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm back with a fan-requested build, the Dark Sejusa. Let's get started. We want Red Guard for the race, and either blue or green eyes. For Sheogoreth's glory. Follow Hadvar into the keep to increase your chances of getting a hide shield. Kill whoever has it, and make it your own. If one doesn't spawn, you can always get an iron shield in the torture room, along with the mech. You'll also want to start searching for soup vegetables, collecting anything with a high value to weight ratio, and the mage gear. Train to 40 one-handed when you reach the bear. Then peel off its pelt, and push on. Start foraging for snowberry, and more tapinella. Then activate the warrior stone, and pay a visit to Uncle Alva. Turn the bear into leather, then buy a corundum ingot and make a dark leather backpack. Here. Get Thandal as a follower by any back. means necessary. I appreciate your help. Then take his key and anything good from his house. Harvest cabbage, leek, and potatoes. Checking barrels for tomatoes. Then cook up some vegetable soup. Get the treasure map from the Illinolta bandits. The enchanted items from the Shrine of Talos. And Anissa's flawless emerald. Loot the treasure. And some libations at Hunting Brew. Then harvest more soup vegetables around white. Go to town and give gold to a beggar. Then put Mikhail in his place. So that Carlotta will let you take her vegetables. Have Fendal chop some firewood. Then sell it to Holder. For a free bed and some more vegetables. Interrupt the court. Enough to interrupt me in the middle of council. Then raid the Jarl's kitchen and make more vegetable soup. One. Steal the mammoth tusk from Balgroove's office and give it to Isolde. This should turn that old cat's gaze. Discuss matters of the heart with Kodlak. What matters? Then join the companions for access to their trainers, and take the steel mace. Take a trip down to Riften, and loot the three confiscated goods chests in the guard towers. Head up the hill and clear out the shrine. Then take the amulet and blessing of Xenathar.
start picking scaly foliota. Then Define gift some more gold. And use persuasion on sapphire. More. So what do you want to know? And the Riften Jail. Sorry, we can go on here. Sell anything you don't need. Then use the gold to start training archery with Fendal. You can just take the gold back from his inventory. Start the Book of Love quest for Dinya. You must first act as her hands in the world. Help Fastrin. Clemic. Then catch the wagon to Windhelm and travel south to collect creep cluster around Kindra. Make your way over to Markar and get the beef from banning at the stable. Murder a mortal, show some charity, and persuade Malosh to back off. If you leave town and return a day later, Kira will have a delivery. Why don't you take it to him? He knows the history of Markarth better than anyone. Get the potion from Bethella. Mind handing it over to him? Then give the beef to Vuada. The dogs were getting restless. The potion to Rare. And the ring to Kalselma. Do you even know who I am? Make a deal for access to the excavation site. the excavation site and my grandma museum. Where you can collect Dwemer metal, a blacksmith potion, and iron ore. Power attack Mimi while she's distracted by Fainbar. Then finish her from the ledge once she eventually takes him down. Return to Kalselmo for the museum key. And you can also take the Dwemer metal nearby. Loot everything from the museum. Then take out the guard in Calselmo's lab and raid that for more metal too. Now that you've gotten what you want, help Calselmo with Feline. Come here, you. Then reunite the dead lovers. Forever. While you're here, it is a good time to go over to the Golden Horn Plantation. Read the journals. Then find Rin's sword and return it to the house Thanks to get your own farm. Here, take this. All your hard work. Stash your ingots, then add the exterior decoration before planting your crops. I suggest adding the blacksmith's workshop but you have to forge the components in town first. Alternatively, in Special Edition, find your way to Falkreath and take a job from the Yard. Execute the bandits, then report back, buy some land, and build a house with a garden. Return to Dinya for the Agent of Mara effect. So the rest of the province may shine the glories. And when you head home, your plans will be ripe for the harvest. After picking, you'll have to wait inside for three days before they are ready to be harvested again. By now you should have trained to 50 archery. Which means you can reassign Fandal as your steward. Switch to the Thief Stone. Then set sail for Solstheim. And hire Teldrin from the Wretching Nets. Run up to White Ridge Barrow. Leave the flame cloaked spiders to tell them. Then leap into some literature. Equip a torch to light your way. Then take the fast healing spell tone. And activate the Seeker of Shadow. 
toddle off to tell Mithrin and destroy Talvis's Ash Guardian. This will allow you to take the Dwemer Medal from the tower. Wander back to Windhelm and speak to Revan Sagan. Sneak the ring into Viola's house, then sleep at the inn and brew potions until you level up. Tell Sadri he is off the hook, then start buying speech training and trading him your brewed potion. Repeat the process of brewing potions to level up, then trading them for speech training until you reach 50 speech and can get the merchant. Revert back to the Warrior Stone and change to the Seeker of Might. Then start buying Enchanting Training from Nella. Revisit Riften and accept the Lexicon from Tavern. Grab some Glowing Mushroom. It's a simple job. Then scrap the Unamunculi. Collecting any filled soul gems in the Dwemer Meta. Return the lexicon to receive the ancient knowledge. Leap over to left hand mine. And speak to Pavo. Clear Colskater Mine of the Forsworn. Pathetic human! And all of its gold ore. Return to Parvo, and Gat will grant you access to the Orc Stronghold. While you're in town, steal the silver from the Smelter Overseer's house, Markarth Treasury House, and Endon's house. Collect more Dwemer Metal from Understone Keep, and in the excavation site, Then run over to Reachwind Irie for some more. And get another word from the Dwarven storeroom outside Mazolf. There is more to be had in the entrance to Raldgrathar. And the Alftand Ruin Tower. Just make sure you keep training enchanting on level up. Once you have a good amount of dwarven metal, use your gold and silver to craft jewelry. Then take the dwarven smithing perk at 30 smiths. Buy iron ore and ingots from a blacksmith. Then start forging dwarven bow. Once you've trained to 50 enchanting, Switch to training Light Armor with Grelka. Keep forging Dwarven Bows until you've used two-thirds of your Dwarven Metal. I'm glad that I'm finally traveling. Then use the Smithing Potions from Inchuan Zells, upgrade them until you reach 100 seconds. Buy a Banish Weapon from Tihada or Glover. Then switch to the Seeker of Sorcery and the Mage Stone. Add the Laboratory to your farmhouse. I'll make all the arrangements. And disenchant your enchanted item. You can then use the Soul Gems from the Bunchen Zell to enchant your Dwarven Bows with Banish. In Special Edition, you can either add the main hall, bed, and crafting stations to your house, or just take everything to Whiterun. Once you've trained to 50 Light Armor, switch to training one-handed with Athos. Sell the enchanted bows to Glover in Ravenrock, then use the gold to buy any enchantments you need for the build, 
and more filled petty and lesser soldier. Then just keep enchanting bows with banish until you reach 100 enchanting. <coughs> Once you reach Athos's cap of 75 one-handed, you can train further with Chief Burguk in Dushnik Yarl. Enchant a circlet, gloves, ring, and necklace with fortify alchemy. Then switch to the Seeker of Shadows and the Thief Stone. Get back to harvesting potion ingredients until you have about 200 of each. Then use your alchemy gear to brew potions, taking the perks as soon as they are available, and smash out 100 alchemy. Once you've trained to the Chief's Cap of 90 one-handed, switch to training block with Nyada Stone Arm. Buy yourself an Ebony Mace and a Glass Shield. Then see the Khajiit for Drew Wax, Stone Flower Petals, and Gold Canid. Brew a couple of enchanting potions. and a couple of smithing potions. Switch to the Seeker of Might. Then use the smithing potions to upgrade your gear. Change to the Seeker of Sorcery. Then use the enchanting potions to enchant your items. Go back to the Seeker of Might and the Warrior Stone. You're then leave Teldrin somewhere safe. Mm. And go pick a fight with a giant train block. Easily blocked. Run away and heal when you need to. Save often. And it won't take long to reach 80 block. Change to the Lord Stone. Then wait outside either Whiterun or Markarth for the Khajiit, and ask Rhysard about his trouble. Read his note. Then go and butcher the Seducer Bandit. Pathetic human! and reclaim your sacred arms and armor. Read the journal and the note in the knapsack. Then free the demented Elytra Nymph and make a forever friend. Follow me. Slaughter Spari. Then read his journal, and grab the scrolls, and the Daedra heart. Go and beat some sense into the Saint Bandit. Then read the notes on the blacksmith, and the journal. Kill Kinfold. You're not very good at this, are you? Then read his journal and give Rhysard the all clean. Accept this token of appreciation. Travel to Half Moon Mill and read the journal in the chest under the bridge. This will allow you to smith dark seducer equipment with the Daedric smithing hook. Step over to Shimimist Cave. Pick more mushrooms and take the two Falmer helmets in the main chamber. In special edition, you'll want to get the other two to three from the Falmer in the next area. You will then need as many circlets and gloves as you have Falmer helmets, plus an additional ring and necklace. You also need an apron, the captain's boots or done the shoes in special edition, plenty of filled grand soul gems and more potion ingredients.
Take everything to Severin Manor. Then switch to the Seeker of Shadows. And brew an enchanting potion. Swap to the Seeker of Sorcery. And use the potion to enchant an improved set of alchemy gear. Switch back to the Seeker of Shadows. Then either brew three enchanting potions, or continue the enchanting loop. Swap back to the Seeker of Sorcery. Then enchant the apron and your boots with Fortify Smithing, the Fulmer helmet and circlet with Fortify Alchemy, and the necklace, ring, and gloves with both Smithing and Alchemy. Switch back to the Seeker of Shadows. Then brew the rest of your ingredients into enchanting potions, and smithing potions. Change to the Seeker of Might. Then use the gear in your potions to upgrade your arms and armor. Swing back to the Seeker of Sorcery and enchant your gear using the enchanting potion. You can either follow my suggestions in the video description or go with your own preference. You can then make enchanting oh, legendary uh, and send Teldrin back to being a bard. Leave me when you decide to return yourself. How you dare you! I found it difficult to recreate this aesthetic in Special Edition. You could use Forsworn armor for its revealing nature, perhaps coupling it with Penitus Oculatus peripherals. Other options include leather armor or black vampire armor. You could also use glass armor for the peripherals. But whatever you do, don't use elven armor because that's too close to the aesthetic of the saints. Otherwise, there's always the combination of dragon scale and guards armor from either Markarth or Morphle. You could use either an ebony or glass mace, or even the mace of Molag Baal. This fits with the lore as the Mazkin were known to serve other Daedric lords, including Molag Baal, Mehrun's Dagon, and Nocturnal. Step into Solitude Sewers and through to the Shivering Isles. Thrash Thorin. Teach you to mess with me. Then loot the Conjure Dark Seducer Tomes from his court. Take the Sheogorath shaped amber, the Madness Ore, and a piece of amber from a tree stump. Retrieving the Sword of Jigalag completes this quest. Afterwards, you will receive a letter from Stada but there's no way she's getting anything from you. Well, anything other than a beating, that is. Disgraceful. Travel down to Crystal Drift Cave. And read Gadnor's Last Wishes. Place the Amber and Madness Ore in the receptacle and reclaim Never Shadow, one of the weapons of Lady Sill, former Duchess of Dementia. If you swim over to Stony Creek Cave, you can also retrieve her bow Ruin's Edge from the Bandits. This one is a bit more fun and useful for this build. Risarg will also send you a letter informing you that he has new wares available. You can now purchase Madness Ore from him, along with charcoal and rolls of paper, which you can combine at the Atronac Forge to randomly create scrolls of Conjure Dark Seducer Warrior or Archer. Sister. Accessing the college also allows you to buy Daedra Hearts from Envy. If you want a male subordinate, speak to Atar in Solitude. To get him as a follower, all you have to do is kill the leader of Broken Ore Grotto, along with a few marauders, then return and give him something more appropriate to wear. Brother. You can also harvest a weak poison from the Elytra Nymph, and it can give you a buff that fortifies archery in both 1 and 2 hit. I don't think dragon shouts are necessary for this build, but you might want to spawn dragons anyway, just to have a worthy advocate. Die, dragon! 
then all that remains is to praise your lord. Get back to guarding the wellspring. And enjoying your masochistic stream. Well, that's it for this build. Thanks for watching, and a special thank you to everyone who subscribes to my channel, leaves a comment, or likes the video. If you have any comments or suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.